The province is launching an aggressive campaign to lure doctors to rural communities. For a three-year commitment to work in small towns, doctors will receive a $100,000 bonus. Now, that campaign targets 17 communities across British Columbia, including Tofino, Port Alberni, and Port Hardy. But some rural towns have been left out, and they say if it was hard for them to attract doctors before, now it's going to be virtually impossible. CTV's Chandler Grieve reports. G59, G59. It's Bingo Wednesday in Lake Cowichan, but nobody here is feeling lucky. It would be nice to be lucky and be on the list. This morning, the B.C. government released a list of 17 communities that will receive financial assistance to help lure doctors. Lake Cowichan did not make the cut. And I don't see our name on there, and we've been actively trying to recruit doctors here for the last two, two and a half months. Hi there! The incentive package provides doctors with a $100,000 bonus when they sign a three-year contract to work in one of their designated rural communities. In the Vancouver Island region, four towns did make the list. Tofino, Port Alberni and Galliano Island will now be able to offer a hefty incentive in their effort to land doctors. Port Hardy will have $200,000 to work with to recruit two physicians. But in Lake Cowichan, a town that will be down to just one doctor by September, there is anger and shock. Uh, we haven't heard a word about it until we got the email today. This town councillor says asking the senior population to travel to Duncan for a checkup is asking too much. And, you know, it's 26 kilometres to the next town, Duncan, where the doctors are located, and I don't know if we expect people in their 80s to be going back and forth on a regular basis. BC's health minister says the towns were selected by an impartial panel. It's a committee that consists of doctors from all around the province that are rural physicians, as well as health authority representation, BCMA representation, and uh, government. And so they looked at where was the greatest need. We're thinking of this as a pilot project. We were only able to do 20 to start off with, but um, we're hopeful that it will be have a good outcome and, and we'll extend it if we can. The anger over being left off the list is turning quickly to fear as Lake Cowichan must now compete for doctors against towns that have a lot more to offer. Puts us down now, what are we going to do? How do we compete against Minister McDermott's incentive? We, I don't know why she left us off of the list because we're, we're actively recruiting. Councillors will spend the next few days trying to determine what requirements were for making the list and continue in their own recruitment efforts, hoping luck will soon be on their side. Chandler Grieve, CTV News, Lake Couchin.